Good morning, guys. It's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living, and I'm just driving out of town now. It's been a really crazy, hectic morning. Uh, just a quick rundown was um, I had to get all the kids up this morning. Well, first the girls catch the bus at 7.30, and uh, I drive Miss Misha to her school for 8 o'clock, but... Uh, my uh, one of my bigger girls had a dentist appointment for 8 30 in the morning so she didn't catch the bus this morning but I woke up my teenager really early um, because I wasn't going to be back to the house to make sure that he got up but it turns out he missed the bus anyways uh, I won't get into that because that's so frustrating but um, yeah I brought two little babies and my daughter Mally to the dentist just for a checkup and uh it, it was fine. She she has no cavities or anything like that. She has a, a spacer in and just needs to stay in for a little while longer. And then I went over to visit my dad, which was nice. I had an extra large decaf coffee, so I'm still half asleep. But I left just a few minutes ago. It's a quarter to 11 now. Because uh, the babies are getting sleepy and I wanted the babies to sleep when I get home instead of when I'm driving or at my dad's because I want to have a little cat nap myself. So hopefully that uh, that plan will turn out because all my plans this morning did not turn out the way that I thought they would. But I'm sorry for the bumping and jiggling but I'm just driving. I'm driving the car today because the van needs two new tires on it. Um, they're, the wires are showing through. I know I mentioned that in one of my other ones. And I got tires, but I need to bring it to the station to get them on the rims. And I just, I can't even do that today. I can't. I'm too tired and too much stuff going on. So while I'm driving, I'm trying to think about what I'm going to make for supper. I was thinking maybe breakfast for supper. That would be homemade sausage patties and some bacon and uh, hash browns. If I have hash browns, I, I don't know. That's what I'm, I'm sketchy about. And some eggs so um, we'll see that would be we haven't had that in a little while so I might end up doing that and I can show you how I use that ground pork I'll link that video below how I grind our own pork and uh, make sausage patties out of it, it it's so easy it's there's so many different recipes but I'll just do a, a simple easy one that I know my family likes I like all different kinds that I make but I'll, I'll just do a simple one so we might end up having that for, for supper. Um, it'll all depend. <clears throat> but I know there's a giant laundry monster at home that exploded all over the floor last night. All right, this is gonna be so embarrassing. But, um, this is reality, and I know it's most people's reality, so they just, well, like myself, try to hide it. This is my house after a crazy, crazy morning, and I have been out of the house since about 7.30. And it's 11 o'clock now, so I know the lighting's bad, but this is the remnants of a bit of last night and this morning's breakfast. Craziness. Things open. Dishes everywhere. There's some flour I got. And I'm going to take you out here. It's so dark because I haven't even had a chance to let the sun shine in, like I explained. This is our dining room. I'm going to show you the after because our ironing board's still out. We iron every morning. Well, Martin, um, M does because of his clothes. This is that giant laundry disaster. And I'm telling you folks, this isn't what it's like all the time. But Mr. Mace kept dumping everything out last night and this morning. Isn't that terrible? And getting stuff out of the toy box absolutely ridiculousness this is the playroom there's the piano room so first things first Maze, let's let the sun shine in so like I mentioned in one of the other videos we always sing oh let the sun shine in sing it with a grin open up your heart and let the sun shine in isn't that right, Maze? Say hi, Maze. Hi. Yeah, hi. I'm walking over these piles. Oh, there's a little bit folded here because how I mentioned my teenager missed the bus, I had to make a second trip out to the house to come and get his butt, which I wasn't going to, but I said, you need to fold this laundry before I get there and look how much he got done. 
So I'm going to get him to do something else when he gets home because I can't stand the rest of the day with that mess here in this room. It'll drive me absolutely bananas. Ah, oh, children. You love them. I love them, but jeepers creepers. So, I just laid one of the babies upstairs. Mr. May seems wide awake. His truck, piles and piles and towels and piles and piles. So, this is the before. Let's do this snap of the finger thing and see if it works. I might have to snap three times. One, two, ready Mays? Three. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. And it's getting there. I'm not done yet. Um, yeah, most of it's folded. I'm leaving that stuff in the basket there. Because little Miss Misha said this morning she wants to be the one to fold the laundry. Oh, did you hurt yourself? Oh, I have to give him a hug. Just a minute. Maze took a toy out of the toy box and fell on his foot. It stuck on Cookie Monster's eyes. But I have to be honest, folks, I'm not going to be able to get all these toys cleaned up with uh, a little toddler around, that's for sure. He, once, once you put it in, he takes it right back out, but that's what it's there for. So, yeah, it's folded up. I don't know why I make such a big deal out of laundry, but it's so hard to do. I'm uh, fully capable of doing it, but I just dread doing it. So what I do, I pick up these piles because the babies will crawl into them and knock them over. Hug! Hug. Hug. You want a hand? You got my hand. Anyways, I, t I took down the um, ironing board. I'm going to clean off this table. And that's where I put all the piles of laundry. So when the kids get home from school, they pick up their pile and bring it upstairs. So that's the plan, Stan. All right, this room was done. Just that stuff over there in the basket that Misha wants to fold. I, I save her the face cloths and dish cloths and stuff. That stuff she can fold easy and she enjoys doing it. And here's all the piles of laundry to be picked up when the kids get home. And that's our TV room out there. I'll do a house tour one of these days. Uh, not today, but one of these days. Now it's on to this disaster. Alright guys, I'm on my way to get Miss Misha. I've got the two babies in the back of the car. And um, yeah, I stopped at the little grocery store they have here. Where uh, her school is, it's on an old military base, like a peacekeeper's base here in Canada. But uh, that's been closed down for a long time. So now some of the buildings that were on the base are, were bought by different companies and used for different businesses. And all the housing around here used to be used for military families, but um, now they're for sale and, uh, you know, most of them are filled up, but they, uh, yeah, they were all for uh, military families, so uh, it's, it's not quite a town, it's kind of like a village, I don't know. It's about uh, 20 minutes from Digby, the, the bigger town where I grew up, but um, it's only about 10 minutes from my house. But this is just like the little school that would have been used for the military families or the, the children in the area. And that's where she goes. So, anyways, we're here to get her and then we're going to go home. And I did pick up those hash browns, like I said, at the little store they have here. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to be doing breakfast for supper. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. All right, I just want to say I'm parking where the staff are supposed to park. But I am tired today. My bones are aching, so... But school's not quite over yet. I'm always here a little bit early just because I need to pick her up and get back to the house before the uh, big girls get home on the bus. So I'm not worried about it. Nobody's ever said anything to me, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just walking up here. Anyways, uh, yeah, we'll get Miss Misha and then we'll head home. And this is her little locker. And she does like her Ninja Turtle, so she's got her Ninja Turtle backpack and her snowsuit hanging up. So, all right, and that's her classroom door. You had a good day at school? What did you make? A tea. Oh, a picture of a tea. Did you guys drink any tea? No. But the She licked the table. Oh, that silly girl. With tea. With tea. 
No, no. Well, it's for painting, not for drinking. All right, let's get your stuff on, and we'll hit the road, Toad. Because kids can't have these. Well, not not when you're at school. No, you shouldn't. No. No, it's hot. It is hot, yeah. yeah. No, that, those ones are from a country, and those ones are very hot. I see that you went to China today. Yeah, that's nice. All right, let's get your stuff on. I hate that. I know they have to work on the roads and all that stuff, but they weren't here when I came. But, yeah, it looks like they're doing something either. Yeah, they're cutting the trees, trees over the telephone wires. Well, it must be touching the wires and they got to cut it or something like that, but... Oh well, cut this was really bad here in the fall. Oh. Yeah. They're way up there in the tree. Yep. No, I seen the trucks just parked on the side of the road when we went to come get you, but they weren't uh, they weren't set up. So, kind of a nasty day. It's freezing rain and stuff. It's cold outside. Okay, this is as good as it's going to get because I need to start making supper. Floors are swept, canners and table are wiped off, stoves cleaned up. The sink has a bucket of compost that needs to go out. I'm going to wait for my teenager to get home. That's going to be one of the things I'm going to get his butt to do. And uh, yeah, those are the hash browns I got. I need to take some ground pork out of the deep freeze and start defrosting that. And the girls will be home from school momentarily, so then we can get that laundry put away. So, uh, yeah, we'll wait till they get here and, uh, and get cracking. While I'm on a roll of cleaning up, I'll show you what my bathroom looks like. And I know I've showed you this before, but after everybody leaves for the day. So there's toothbrushes and shave cream, contact stuff toothpaste, q-tips, that's our hair box with all the hair elastics, and that's the drying rack, I always have drying racks here, some clothes, the mats are all out of place, and yeah, that one needs to be refilled, so this is the before, yeah, beautiful, isn't it, this is my everyday, Yeah, all of it. All right. Those towels are still drying, so I gotta leave them there. Garbage changed. Counter and sinks wiped off. Mirrors cleaned. Toothbrushes are picked up. Toilets cleaned. This wasn't a deep clean, guys. Like, um, oh, there's that thing that I. A roll that got away from me. There, replaced one of the towels. I don't generally leave mats out on the, the ground on a regular basis because they end up doing what they did this morning, getting all over the place. So, yeah, I just want to show you this really cool. Uh, I know it's not as exciting, it's exciting to me. We got a new hand soap thing. Love it. Now I just need to keep the kids from playing with it. But. Yeah, anyways. Uh, Misha's peeking up on me. Alright. Well, I got the stuff out. I think I'm going to do a separate bre breakfast for supper video. But I'll put a link to that down below. And I'll show you like a finished product when it's all done. So, uh, since I'm doing a separate one, I'll make sure Yeah, there's a link to that video of how to make what I'm making. But, uh, yeah, I'll dish you up a plate anyways. Right, Misha? I hear the girls just got home on the bus. How was school? Good. Good? How was your school, Mally? All right. She brings in the mail for me. Mazaya, how was your day at school? Good. Anything happen? No. Okay, get your book out so I can read it, please. Yeah. Mazaya brings a book to school every day because uh, sometimes she has ups and downs, like we all do, but... This way the teacher can write a note to me if there's anything that needs to be brought to my attention. So, a good
good working system. And for those parents out there that might have a, a child that struggles a little bit in school, not that she struggles um, academically, but just uh, socially sometimes, um, yeah, this is, this is the kind of book we're going this year. If she has a good day, we get a little smiley face. If she has a little upset, we get a little note. But it's good. It's a good way. I got a little note today. It's not nothing bad, but just she wants to know if something's okay. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's good with me. So, anyways, just a little, just a little peek inside of our lives. Alright guys, this is my supper plate. Um, check out the link below if you want to see how I make this breakfast for supper. Everybody seems to be enjoying it. So for now, um, yeah, I'm just finishing up uh, editing, editing that um, breakfast for supper. And uh, I just wanted to make sure I sign off on my day in the life. It was nothing as exciting, but I'm glad you came along for the ride. Um, I think everybody just needs uh, somebody there once in a while, and I appreciate you being there. So, yeah, stop back again maybe tomorrow. Um, I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'll do something. Yeah, so my camera's acting up a little bit. I'm using my phone right now. Um, but yeah, like, share, and subscribe. I'd love to get to know you and uh, have new people come and join my channel. Um, I'm so interested in finding out uh, about new people and new places and what you like and what you'd like to see me do. If there's anything you want to see me make or bake or uh, whatever. Now that it's getting nicer out, I'm going to be doing on doing some more adventures with my family, like out in the woods and beaches and things in Nova Scotia. And I can't wait to show you guys what this province has to offer. Um, yeah. Anyways, like, share, and subscribe. I'm ready to go to bed once I get the kids to go to bed. It's been a long day, and I'm ready to just hunker down and read a bit of a book. So, you guys, be well. Be happy and stay comfy cozy. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.